Greetings of the day, everyone. My name is Sumit Dua, Assistant Professor at the AISSM College of Hotel Management and Catering Technology. Today, we will be covering a topic called Food Product Order, which is also called FPO 1955. So, what does FPO mean? So, the FPO mark is a certification mark mandatory on all processed food products sold as per Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. The mark looks similar to this one. The FPO mark guarantees that the food product was manufactured in a hygienic, food safe environment, thus ensuring that the product is fit for consumption. The standards have been in force since 1955 by the law of food products order, after which the mark is named, but the mark itself got a mandatory status only after the Food Safety and Standards Act of 2006, which we also known as FSSAI. The FPO mark is a certification mark mandatory on all processed food, fruit products sold in India, such as packaged fruit beverages, fruit jams, crushes, squashes, pickles, dehydrated food products, and food extracts following the FSSAI Act of 2006. So here are a few of the products that you can commonly buy on the market. The ministry has launched many publicity campaigns to educate people as well as food processors to understand its importance and mandate. All food processors are mandated to have an FPO license and carry out their operations abiding by the guidelines in order to be able to continue the business. An FPO license is in fact necessary to start a food processing industry in India. The agency that develops standards for this purpose and that which issues the mark is the Ministry of Food Processing in Industries of the Government of India. Food Laws, Food Product Order. 1955. So following minimum requirements are laid down in the FPO for hygienic production and quality standards. Location and surroundings of the factory, sanitary and hygienic conditions of the premises, personal hygiene, portability of water, machinery and equipment uh, with installed capacity, and quality control facility and technical staff product standards, limits for preservatives and other additives accredited consultants private limited. So FPA certification mandatory for all food processing industries and it includes synthetic beverages, syrups, sherbets, vinegar, whether brewed or synthetic, uh, pickles, dehydrated fruits and vegetables, squashes, crushes, cordials, barley water, jams, jellies, marmalades, and chutneys. The other products are included are tomato ketchup products, preserved candied fruits and peels, canned bottled fruits, juices, pulps, and veggies, frozen fruits and vegetables, sweetened aerated waters, of fruit cereal flakes. So how does one get a food process order certification? So one needs to file an application A, the Ministry of Food Processing Industries of Government of India to obtain an FPA license or now an FSSAI. And why do we need that? So a few of the reasons is to meet country sanitary and phytosanitary requirements. Food must comply with the local laws and regulations to gain market access. FPA also ensures the safety and suitability of food for consumers. A consistent product is also offered to the consumer by, from batch to batch. The product quality and the texture is not altered regardless of the geography. And then it acts as a convenience food that saves a lot of time and effort during busy times. And FPO food also offer you a lot of cost saving in the long run. So that's it for today. Uh, thank you for tuning in and do remember to click on the link in the description box for a quick quiz. Thank you very much and have a good day.